Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes? I've noticed you're really into those fashion magazines. Are you a model? Me? <laughs> no. You're joking. Y you must have at least thought about becoming a photo model. Actually, I have been approached. Oh, well that goes without saying. You see, uh... <clears throat> I work for a magazine from down south. Ladies and Chrome? I've never heard of it. It's the high society magazine in the south. The magazine for the top 10,000. I'm working on a piece about life and style in the far north. Really? How exciting. Maybe you have some recent photos. I'd love to show our readers what fine taste people up here in the north have. This is your stylish convertible, right? It is, and I'd be happy to be at your disposal for your story. But I don't have any photos. That shouldn't be any problem. There's an excellent photographer in town, isn't there? Fuller? You can't be serious. That savage would never be able to like me properly. Oh, so you don't know. What don't I know? Who Fuller really is. He's an internationally renowned star photographer from New Zealand. He's been living here incognito for a few years. He's working on his life's work. He's uh, documenting normal folks' lives here in America. Uh, of course, he's got to stay unrecognized to do that. That's... No, I can't believe that. I swear, in a few years, when, when he's finished his work, it'll be the photographic sensation of the decade. I... I can't believe it. I... Show me some of his pictures, then we'll see. Well, uh, um... All right, then. But, but don't run away. No way. My god, what a lame story. <laughs> but vanity has always been the biggest weakness for those kind of folks. If I can show her a few reasonable photos, then perhaps she'll lure Fuller out of the shop for me. in a health magazine. Oh well. I'll take the fashion magazine here. Oh, and the auto magazine. Look, uh, I've got a few of Fuller's earlier works. Really? Show me! Which pictures are by him? Um, oh, that one there. Uh, oh, and there too. Oh, and here's another one. Exactly. Yeah, that one here. They're really wonderful. It was all just for the money. In reality, he's an artist, you see. But the project here in Biddeford is his real passion. Living incognito amongst us common folks, working on his masterpiece. Can you imagine what an effort it must have been for such a cultivated and refined man like Fuller to play a, a primitive, stinking, sweaty asshole? That's true art. You should call him. He could photograph you in your car up on the clifftop. Now? Yeah. Oh, oh, unfortunately, I've got to hurry, my lady. Uh, I've got a deadline to meet in Dallas, you see. Oh, of course. I'll call from my car phone and arrange a photo shoot. Oh, excellent. Uh, oh, but don't let him realize that you know his true identity. Who knows what that do to his artistic spirit? I understand. 
thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Shall we meet here again this evening? Agreed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Angelina's film here, and then make some prints. Let's see, what do I need to develop the film? The film with Angelina's pictures on it, and developer fluid. There ought to be some fixer around here, and the developing drum is there on the table. A small bottle of photographic fixer. There's not a lot left in there, but it ought to do for one more use, I think. The undeveloped film is placed in this container. Then the developer fluid is added, and after a short while, the film is developed. A completely normal waste bin. I'll make a note of that in case I'm... A bottle of distilled water. I'll take that with me. Angelina's pictures in the safe before he drove off to his shoot. The safe is locked. Of course, even Fuller worked out what a safe is for. Alright, let's see. But I need to get a move on. Fuller's had a clock built into it, so there's a time limit. number, but nothing's happening. The combination must be wrong. <sighs> Alright, let's see. But I need to get a move on. Fuller's had a clock built into it, so there's a time limit.
Hey, that sounds good. Yes, there you go. Aha, a film cartridge. Those will be the photos of Angelina. Well, apart from that, there's just a few papers, a folder, and, uh... Whoa, a pistol. I'd better leave everything where it is. As soon as I've developed the pictures and made copies, I'll pay Angelina a visit in the hotel. I... I could really do with a bit of a distraction. First of all, light off. First, I ought to get everything together that I'm going to need to develop the film. As long as I don't want to develop any pictures, that doesn't make sense. First, I ought to get it. I don't want to develop any photos right now. First, I have to develop the film. It works. Who should I send the card to? That's a photo enlarger. You put the developed film in the top and then lay a sheet of photo paper on the table below. The picture is projected onto the sheet and so exposes the paper at the same time. First, I ought to get everything together that I'm going to need to develop the film. I don't want to develop any photos right now.
First, I ought to get everything together that I'm going to need to develop the film. I'd better leave it here. I can't do much with it. I'd better leave it here. First, I ought to get everything together that I'm going to need to develop the film. in the floor has definitely got something to do with Fuller's secret door. This place in the floor is... <laughs> Photo developer. Looks like it's been there for a while. Ah, there's the photo developer. All right. the stronger the reaction, and so the place then turns darker. In short, the film is now being developed. Okay, I guess the film has to be developed now. enough. Now there's just the developer to go with it. So, that ought to do it. I'll pour out the developer. Now the fixer's got to go in to stop the film from keeping on developing. <sighs> oh well, that's the end of the fixer. But what was left ought to have stopped the development process. I hope everything's worked. That's the dish for the stop bath. You can only put distilled water. That would be the stop bath. I 
I could turn the lamp on now, but that's not going to do too much if there isn't any paper below the lens. An A4 size package. Fairly heavy. Either it really is photographic paper, or it's full of dirty mags for the week. Ah, oh, nice. 50 sheets of top quality photo paper. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. Then let's have a go. The longer I leave the lamp on, the more contrast the picture gets. Let's try it. Okay, I think that's enough time. The exposed picture has to be developed first, then it goes into the water bath afterwards. Just water on its own is not going to do much. I need to pour in some developer. I reckon the dilution is okay at that. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. contrast and is too dark. I need to expose the paper less and the next time pull the paper out of the developer earlier. The sheet is lying in the as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Huh. The contrast is good, but the picture's too light. I think that's... 
that's enough time. out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Ah, the contrast is good and the brightness is right too. Itself is garbage. I can't do much about that. Maybe some of the other pictures are better. Well, at least the exposure and development time seem to be right. I'll try it again. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? Forget it. Just developed well, but the focus isn't all that sharp, and the framing's garbage. There's not all that much you can do in the development process when the guy who took the shot was a dork. just developed well. The kettle's a good bit heavier when it's filled with water. Thank you. 
This place in the floor is definitely... If I unlock the door, then Fuller will notice I was here. I better go. First of all, I need Angelina's photo prints. I'd be a joke turning up without them. First of all, I need Angelina's photo prints. First of all, I need Angelina's photo prints. There's nothing more that interests me. I could turn the lamp on now, but that's not going to do too much. I could turn the lamp on. The developer drum has done its job. I can simply leave the fixer in it. A completely normal waistband. Things here are overpriced, but that's obvious. There's only one photo store in town. He takes advantage of that. That's just the tripod. You know, that that idiot's the lights look brand new. Just developed well, but the focus isn't all that sharp, and the framing's garbage. The sheet is lying in <sighs> Okay, I think that's enough time. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Yes, I've really got it now. Brightness and contrast are correct. If Fuller only had any idea about photography, then maybe even the picture would be good too. Maybe the next one. This could well take some time. 36 pictures and not one of them actually any good. How can a guy take a beautiful woman like Angelina and then photograph her so badly? But I can't do much about that. The pics have been snapped and I gotta take them to her at the hotel. 
At least I get to see her again. And it's also not my fault that the pictures are bad. What the? Mrs. Biber? Mrs. Biber? Is Fuller there? Uh, no, not at the moment. Then, uh, then, can you give him this? Give it to him personally. As soon as he gets back, I, I gotta go. I feel sorry for her. There's something not right going on here. Could it help me get one over on Fuller? Huh. But I can't put Mrs. Biber in danger. She gives the impression she can't take much more. If I could secretly open the envelope, then, then I could look at what's inside and put the envelope in the mailbox later. That would keep Mrs. Biber out of trouble. But how can I open the envelope and close it again without Fuller noticing? Hey, the steam could undo the glue. Huh, let's try. Steam in. The steam's loosening the glue. Got it. The paper hasn't torn and the glue still sticks. I can reseal the letter. But first, I want to see what's inside. Holy, that's got to be a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. There's some kind of blackmailing going on here. Mrs. Biber hates Fuller and she didn't want her husband to see that I gave her a letter from him this morning. It would seem he knows nothing about it. But what's it about? Sex. Oh, surely not with Fuller. Something to do with the diner, or, or from Biber's past? I'd love to send Fuller off to jail for blackmail. But first I gotta find out what he's blackmailing Mrs. Biber with. But tomorrow's another day. I'll put the letter in Fuller's mailbox and get myself ready for my date with Angelina. That's blackmail money, I'm sure. First off, I have to throw the money in. seems to have few guests, but in this season you'd normally expect a bit more to be going on. Maybe the others have seen the weather report. There's a storm getting up, and who wants to be stuck in a hotel on the Atlantic in the rain?
Excuse me. Yes, please? You know my mother? Rebecca Michaels? Rebecca? Well, of course! We sit together on the tourist board! You're her son? How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. She's lying in the hospital. She had a fall. Oh, my dear boy, that's... I'll let my wife know right away. We'll send her a card. Well, if you like. So what are you doing here, then? Shouldn't you be with your mother? I'm gonna go see her again later. Well, please, give her our best wishes. Yes, of course. Does the hotel belong to you? It sure does. My grandfather built it, and I've been running it for the past 15 years. Do you live here with your family? It's like this. The guests value the quiet family atmosphere here. There really is something quite special to stay in a small, family-run hotel. I can't bear those awful tower block hotels in the holiday resorts. And at some point your children will take over the running of it? Yes, I hope so. My daughter's studying to be a hotelier in Switzerland. I only hope that our hotel here doesn't end up being too small and provincial for her. Oh, my son. He's got rather different interests. What's he doing then? Now, he's a musician. Really? Yes. He even thinks he can make a living out of it. <laughs> Some people live very nicely from it. What does he play? He plays an electric bass in a, in a band. I, I think it's called punk rock. And you're worried about that? I should be looking after my mother or beating the crap out of Fuller's fat face. But instead, I'm standing here with a stomach full of butterflies. I don't know what it is about her, but man, I got it bad. All right, let's go. Come in. Hello, Angelina. Uh, have I come at a bad time? No, no, come in. I've got the pictures with me. Here. Oh, great! Uh, to be honest, it's anything other than great. The wrong lighting, pathetic composition. Fuller has really no idea what he's doing. I thought that might be the case. I'm sure they would have been better if you'd taken them. How would you take my picture? Uh, well... <laughs> um, your face should... Well, um... Just do it! Huh? Don't tell me that you, the would-be star photographer, haven't got a camera with you. Uh, sure. <laughs> of course. Come on, then. I still need a present for my parents' wedding anniversary. Very nice. Uh, the, the light is perfect. Have you been living here long? Oh, uh, I don't live here at all. I study in Boston. My mom just bought a house here a few months ago. What, uh, what brings you here? Look over that way. Yeah, like that. Are you an actress or something like that? You got it. I'm a famous English actress on my way to Hollywood. No, but seriously. I study literature and history in England. I'm interested in English immigrants in America. Their aspirations, their dreams, their reality. Wow, that's interesting. If you say so, we'll see. I wanted to drift a bit, collect some life stories. I don't yet know exactly how I should organize the work. My mother's from England too. She came over here more than 20 years ago. Really? Do you think I could talk to her? That isn't possible at the moment. Th that's a very pretty bracelet. Oh. Thank you. I got it from my grandmother. She was always there for me. Unfortunately, she died last year. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Thanks. But you don't need to be. 
She was very ill at the end, you know? It was a relief for her. She gave me this bracelet shortly before she died. I'm sure you'll find it silly, but I always have the feeling that she's near me and looks after me. Perhaps we could do a few more special pictures for your portfolio. I always wanted to have a few photos of myself as a model. Oh, sure. Uh, um, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> what did you have in mind? That's it. The film is full. Oh, shame. It's just getting warmed up. Hmm. What do you say we go for a meal? I... Actually, I'm not hungry yet, but... <laughs> Tonight. In the diner. I'll pay. In return for the photos, okay? Um, yes. Sure. Sounds good. All right, then. See you tonight. Can you develop the pictures by then? Yeah, um, yeah, no problem. I'm looking forward to it. Jeez, that was certainly something. Yes, Miss Angelina Morgan has a room here. Would you like to leave her a message, or would you like to go out? How many nights has she booked? No more pictures on the film. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to ask Miss Morgan herself. I can't. All right. Brown comb back hair, a long straight nose, eyes close together. Which room is she in, then? I'll inform her that you're here. Did Mr... That won't be necessary. I'll come back later. Thin lips. Sallow skin, angular face, pointed chin. But please, don't tell her I was here. It's supposed to be a surprise. I... Hello? What's wrong? Sir? And he's gone. What does this guy want? Excuse me. Yes, please? Since when has Miss Morgan been staying here? Hmm. You seem to be her friend. Ask her yourself. We run a very discreet hotel here. Would that be the case if I were to leave a 20 on your counter? Sorry? Ah, uh, nothing. This guy, uh, the one who was asking about Miss Morgan, had you seen him before? Sorry, no. I, he came in and asked me a few questions. Then he disappeared. A strange fellow. Do you know him? No, but I think he shouldn't be let near Miss Morgan. Of course not. I call upstairs, and only when the young lady agrees do I let him up. And he can't come creeping around here? Well, that possibility can't be completely excluded. But you can only open the doors from outside, with a key. Hmm. Huh. 